Fire away for Fred. We love this. Well, Fred, real quick, this uh, Lux Club Terrace, what is it? You know, we, we've seen that concept at some other with some other teams. Is this for the public in terms of being able to purchase anything or no? Well, it's it's available for the public to purchase. We'll have limited membership here. It was really an opportunity for us to help further connect with our sponsors and partners and others. Um, you know, we really saw that there was a dearth of these opportunities in the South Bay, so I thought it would be a, a way for folks to come here, particularly uh, um, of those among our fan base who wanted to join a membership club that could be here and really experience the Chargers firsthand in the facility. The close proximity now to SoFi Stadium when you guys have to go on the road, you know, you, you guys have made it work in Costa Mesa, but talk about the location. Well, you know, we had our heart set in the South Bay when we started this process five years ago. The first site I looked at was in Redondo Beach going back to January 17. And we always thought this was just an important focal point. We had saw a burgeoning fan base here. Um, and it, it had so many positive elements from the proximity to SoFi, as you said, proximity to LAX, all the teams that were here and the synergies of the other teams that we had on the South Bay. So it was just uh, an exciting opportunity that kind of blossomed and came to life for about a couple of years ago. Can you tell us just about the architecture and the building and what was the inspiration behind just the overall design? Yeah, as you can see, not from this perspective, obviously, Lindsay, but as you go outside, the bolt really was the inspiration of what we could do. And, you know, how do we take some of the exciting things around that imagery and integrate it into the building in a way that fit and didn't look hokey, but looked genuine to who, what our brand was. And I think Gensler, who did it, who also did the Cowboy Star, I think done a brilliant job of trying to integrate it throughout the building. And then just kind of the um, vibe, so to speak, inside, just via the renderings, what was the goal there? You know, it was it's really intended, and hopefully you can see through the imagery, to be emblematic of our brand. And really be something that's that's serious about football and serious about winning football, but also something that's fun, that really reaches out and speaks to our broader audience and how they can be incorporated here. Uh, and so hopefully this will articulate kind of who we are as a team. Wait, have you been to the Star? I have. So ideally this will compare very similar I assume. well it's some elements I mean the star is a much bigger development so there's a hotel there they have 450,000 square feet this is 146,000 square feet it's way beyond just a team facility but I think many of the spaces you see here are, are, are representative of what, what we what we really liked about what they've done same architect by the way and then just um, kind of can you tell us about like the, the pool the facilities really for the athletes to rehab and do all that kind of went into that well i mean look we you know we've got an incredible a group of, of men here who represent this team and you know have made sacrifices obviously in the temporary facility we've been in now and it was the goal of the spanos family and of the, of the leadership here to create an environment that was second to none anywhere in the league and i think we've got that kind of individuals and this is the kind of place that they deserve Fred, it's been a year since the groundbreaking. Uh, about how about the progress that's been made so far? You know, I mean, it was literally a year to today that we had the groundbreaking. And I was telling Jeff earlier, you know, I've been in the development business for you know most of my adult life, over 30 years, and it never ceases to amaze me how much can be done in a year. And this really represents that. I don't think I don't think my house was this far along 15 years ago when I built it. It really is incredible. Um, and I was here two weeks ago, and you could see the noticeable change. And once drywall goes up, things happen fast, and they've just done a great job. We managed the rain really well this year. I've been very impressed. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, when do you anticipate it will be done? Um, you know, I think, well, to the, hopefully the plan is that we'd have the draft here next year um, and then move in probably you know later in the spring, early summer. But we'll have training camp here in 24. That's the plan. Fred, what kind of connection do you like to have with the other teams that have called El Segundo home? The... Kings, the Lakers, the Sparks, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they've been great. They've been great neighbors, great friends. Uh, they participated in the process. We've reached out, they've been collaborative. Um, I it couldn't ask for a better group of, of teams and people to be associated and be close to, so it's been great. You also have the professional rugby's here too, okay. so it'd be the only city in America with five professional sports teams. And El Segundo, I can't say enough good things about them. They've just been terrific to work with.